so far we have seen convolution over a 2d image how to perform convolution on a 2d image and a 2d filter so here we will see how to perform convolution over volume so let's say instead of having just grayscale pixel values our image has multiple channels in particular let's say we have three channels rgb channel so this is red green blue so instead of 7 cross 7 cr cross 1 or 7 cross 7 we have 7 cross 7 cross 3 volume we also call it volume in cnn terminology and even you can represent this as a volume so you can draw it like this because you you will not have always three channels you can have many many more channels so this will be seven seven and this number of channels or sometimes also called depth is three and the filter should also have the same number of channels so if this is three three cross three cross three and not these three but this one this denotes the three channels so this should be same as this you can also represent this as a small volume here 3 cross 3 cross 3 and how is convolution performed here so you overlap this filter here exactly so this overlaps over this this overlaps over here and this one is here similarly all of these these values and this green this one here it overlaps with this one and so on mm. so you get the idea so these white white ones overlap with these white ones and these black ones overlap with these and not just these three all the nine so nine here nine here nine here and same thing here so this entire volume of 3 cross 3 cross 3 and you do element wise multiplication so this is multiplied to this this multiplied to this and you add all those 27 values so uh, i equal to 0 to 26 so you add these 27 values and you calculate this so this is equal to this 27 values that overlap in order to calculate this you shift everything by one so next it will be here and in the green channel it will be from here and blue channel here again you will calculate one value and when you reach here then you will have shifted five times so you have five cross five then you shift downward again depending on the strides so we had seen that if a stride is more than one you can shift by more so we will get 5 cross 5 so you see the channel is lost so we had 7 cross 7 cross 3 we convolved with 3 cross 3 cross 3 and the result is 5 cross 5 so in general if we have n cross n cross c and filter is f cross f cross c and you will again notice that c is same as this then the result will be n minus f plus 1 divided by s if we have stride but in this case it's not so the same formula will apply cross the same thing depending on the second dimension and channel is lost so this is how we perform convolution over volume now uh, there is one more thing to it so this this is uh, the basis how we perform convolution then we can have multiple such filters so in our earlier example we saw just one filter maybe this filter was detecting uh, horizontal edges or vertical edges let's say we want to also detect some other features then we will add one more filter or one more volume you can denote it like this and again the number of channels should be same as this one f2 cross f2 cross c this is f1 cross f1 cross c and this filter is 
detecting something else some other feature you can add even more filters then the result will change let's say we have three filters f1 f2 and f3 so you convolve it with f1 and we know how to convolve it using this formula you overlap this over this volume then multiply all 27 elements and calculate this value this value this value and all the values till here so this was the result of convolving with f1 let's call it result 1 similarly when you convolve this with this one you will get another result and the calculation will be same this will be calculated using convolving all these this filter with here and shifting it right and then down and then when we convolve with this f3 we will get another result so let's say we had three three cross three cross three filters then the result will be five cross five and we will have three of such values corresponding to each filter so cross three so this is number of filters so c is the number of channel and let's denote number of filters by f so this will be in general n minus f plus one cross this number of filters and in this case we we were telling that we can detect multiple features like horizontal edges vertical edges diagonal edges but uh, in convolutional neural network we don't have control over these we will just uh, add three filters and it's the job of uh, the network to learn some important feature by convolving with each of these filters so that may not be even uh, understandable to human beings but they will try to learn different features on their own so this is the concept here of using multiple filters the same way you don't know how many layers to have in the deep neural network it's just one of the hyperparameters number of uh, layers or uh, what should be the size of these intermediate layers it, it's uh, dependent on your expertise and how you you will need to tune those things similarly how many filters to use it will be kind of tunable thing you will have to try with multiple of such experiments so i hope you got the idea of convolution over volume now we have some building blocks of uh, a small neural network so we will see how to build a convolutional neural network using these building blocks